This brief tutorial covers how to import questions from an individual quiz into the question library in order to create randomized quiz sections. The first thing we'll do is we'll go to the quizzes link in D2L. Here I have a set of current quizzes, but only one exists in the question library, this web research tutorial. What I'd like to do is use the questions in my week one quiz, put them in the question library, and then create a new randomized quiz that uses those questions. We'll go ahead and do that. The first step is to actually go to the question library. You can find that here on the upper left hand portion of the screen. As you can see, the question library again contains only the questions from the web research tutorial. In order to get my week one quiz questions into the question library, I'll need to import them, which I can do here. Clicking the import button brings up this dialog. I want to import from an existing collection and now I'll specify where the source of that question collection will be. Clicking the drop down reveals all of my quizzes. I'll select the week one quiz. Next I have to specify which section to import. Most quizzes will only have one section called the collection root, so we'll select that. My screen refreshes and now my um, questions from the week one quiz show up here. In order to import them, I'll check this box here to select all questions, or I could go and individually select or deselect certain questions as well. And then I'll click the save button. Once I've clicked save, the questions have now been imported into the question library where they can also be edited or deleted independent of those questions that already were pre-existing in my quiz one. Now let's go back to quizzes for just a moment. We'll click this link to go back to quizzes. You'll notice I still only have my original quizzes here. We didn't actually create a new quiz, we only added those questions to the question library. The next step in order to randomize my quiz questions is to create a new quiz. We'll click New, and we will give the quiz a name. In this case, I'll put R in there so we know it's randomized. We could assign it a category and a grade item and all of that. Um, we'll skip that step for now, and I'll click Save Quiz. The next portion that we need to do is to come over to the Layout and Questions tab where we can actually add the randomized section. So we'll click Layout and Questions. And notice that this brand new quiz is empty. Well, of course it is, it's new. Let's click the Add Edit Questions button in order to create some random questions. This is the dialog that comes up when we add questions to a quiz. What we'll do now is we'll say next to Create New, create a new random section, which is the second option in the list of options here for questions and section types. So we'll select random section, we'll create new. Now the section has to have a name. I recommend, recommend calling it simply random section or random section one if you're going to have more than one random section, which you could do. One instance in which you might want more than one randomized section might be if you were going to randomize true-false or only randomize multiple choice questions, but then maybe you also want to have a set of randomized um, short answer or essay questions. You wouldn't necessarily want them all randomized in one section. That would be a way to group it. We'll go ahead and click Save next to the section name. And now we have a random section. Now you'll note we haven't yet added any questions to that section. So in order to um, add the questions to that section, we click on the name of the section, in this case, random section one. And now this is the step where we'll import the questions that we wanna add. Start with the import button. 
And now we'll choose the source section we want to import from. In this case, it will be the collection root. And I've put these in the uh, collection root rather than in a folder. It's not a bad idea if you're going to be importing multiple quiz questions to group them in new um, folders within the question library. I'll select the questions here that I want, click Save, and you'll note when I click Save, this is the important part. This is where you set the number of questions that you want to include in that random section. Here, I'll include five random questions. I can also assign a point value for each. You can see why you would want different random sections for essay or long answer questions versus true false or multiple choice questions. You might want a higher value for the longer answer questions. In this case I'll leave it at one point each and I'll click the save button. Now when I return back to the quiz up here using this link, the quiz now includes one random section consisting of five random questions. That's how you randomize quiz questions and import questions to the question library from an existing quiz.